Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm meeting up today um, with my long-term Facebook collaborator and Jerusalem food friend, Shimshon Sam Lashinsky, who's been posting his food reviews on uh, Facebook groups and uh, more than Facebook groups for the past couple of years. We're trying out today a place on Agrippa Street, which for those who uh, aren't familiar with Jerusalem, is just by the entrance to the Shuk, the big market of Jerusalem called Shuk Mane Yehuda. Sabiq is a really, really special food. It actually originates as a breakfast food from Iraqi Jews. So this is something they'd cook on Shabbat when traditionally Jews can't use electricity. So the eggs, which are a really integral part of this, of this dish, are slow cooked. These days, people use an electric slow cooker. Back in the day, that people would leave stuff on the stove on a slow simmer over Shabbat, and then in the morning, the eggs would be nice and cooked, and people would make a food out of them. The key constituents of Sabiq are the eggs, the Yemenite hot sauce called Tzrug, which is uh, one of my many uh, culinary addictions right now, um, as well as uh, Israeli salad, tomatoes and cucumbers, and a few other uh, accoutrements. Compared to falafel and shawarma, which have got uh, well-deserved international fame, Sabiq is a little bit less famous internationally, and I would say generally, Tel Aviv has more Sabiq options than Jerusalem. However, we're here today to check out Jerusalem's most established Sabiq place on Agrippa Street. I'll leave a Google Map link, link in the description if this video makes you hungry and I highly recommend at any hour of the day getting your Sabiq fix. This is the number one lunch spot in Jerusalem, Sabiq Aricha on Agrippa Street, Jerusalem. 24 shekels, you get a good meal with everything in it. You've got protein, you've got vegetables, you've got healthy food, you've got it's everything. Delicious. The people in Ramat Gan originally made it with cubes of potatoes. And, but here, no potatoes. I spoke to the boss, he does it his way. Mr. Itai Richa, come on down, we'll have it together. The secret is uh, to make pitas uh, with the heart, with love. Like to really love it, to do it, and uh, just do it uh, inside of a good heart. The eggplant and like the Arvisage like The layers. Layers. Okay. Yeah. Is this, is this the best to be in Jerusalem? Yeah. On the wall. On the wall. <laughs> As always, a lot of nice things inside. Eggplant, boiled eggs, vegetables, pickles, trina. So, and I put a little spice influenced by my friend Daniel Rosehill, and it's uh, got a bit of a kick to it. And they make their own orange juice, so looking forward to that as well. So, cheers. Shimshon, what, what, what's the uh, Shimshon food review here? Um, 10 out of 10 for value for money and for delicious Israeli street food.